What's up guys and welcome back. So today's topic is Cody Lea Alpha 2 release. Yes guys, the new Alpha release has been here for a month or so. So there is some stability to the new Alpha release and we're still waiting for the official release. In general, the whole stability has improved quite a lot. The times you still get glitches and occasional crashes. Uh, has been reduced so guys alpha 2 has been improved in terms of stability and usability well guys today's topic for me is Kodi 18 Lear and a great build to customize your Kodi experience so guys as you see I've got a great build here called the dragon build Guys, this is a build by the Ucody One repository. It's got movies, TV shows, you've got sports, you've got favorites, you've got the dogs, which is 4K movies, catch up, box sets, kids, screeners. You've got something for the kids as well, which is cartoons, dogs TV, kids hub, meta TV kids, boom kids. You've got the Chill Zone, so Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Documentary, Stand Up Comedy. You've got Music, so your music lovers, there is something for you here as well. You've got Live TV as well, so a lot of guys have been looking for Live TV. You've got Fluxus TV, World IPTV, Radex IPTV, StarTech is another good IPTV add-on, and Ultra IPTV. So guys, if we go into movies, you actually get a widget that actually pops up here and you can actually select from the placenta most popular movies and get a full summary on your left hand side it's quite a good add-on it's quite a good build very easy to use and I'll suggest even using it on a fire stick because it's quite smooth in motion so guys it's quite a good build so I'm just going to show you some of the intros as you see guys it's got a lot of widgets a lot of color it's quite bright in interface it works quite well and it opens up the add-ons for us so let's go into trailers and reviews so guys We've opened up trailers and reviews, so I'm just going to try something out from here. So let's try Flick Pick. And Rampage Movie Review. Guys, this is just a demonstration to show you how the add-on actually works in this build. And there we have it, guys. It actually opens up immediately. So I'm just going to stop it there and go back out. So as you see, guys, it works quite well. It is a good build. Uh, now let's get down to actually installing this build. So we're going to go to System. I'm going to bring the settings back to to your standard Kodi screen. Sorry guys, interface and S3. There we have it guys. This looks more like a fresh install Kodi. So when you guys actually install Kodi from their website, you're going to actually end up with this fresh install Kodi. Then you're going to click on settings. Right, guys then you're going to click on file manager you're going to click on add source and you're going to enter the source in there http colon forward slash forward slash ucody1.com 
and you're gonna select OK. I'm gonna give the source a name. I'm gonna call it Ucody one, and you're gonna click OK again. OK once more, and we're gonna go back out to the main menu. Then you're gonna click on Add-ons. You're gonna click on the box in the top left corner, and you're gonna install from Zipfire. Guys, on a fresh install Kodi, this is going to pop up telling you that unknown sources is disabled. You're going to click on settings and you're going to click on the unknown sources tab to activate it. Click on that and select yes. Guys, this is a third party add on and not an official add on. This is why you need to create an unknown sources tab to allow access to these repositories. So you're going to go back out and you're going to click on install from zip file. So I'm going to click on ucody1 and repository.ucody1. Click on that and just wait for the pop-up at the top right hand side corner. Let's give it a few seconds guys. You will get the pop-up and there we have it guys. The pop-up appears. You're going to click on install from repository then you're going to click on new Kodi one you're going to click on program add-ons and you're going to click on new Kodi one wizard and you're going to click install so guys as we see it's starting to download just give it a few minutes to download As we see the pop-up add-on enabled or installed and we have a tick on there as well. So now we can click on the wizard. In fact, we don't have to, it actually opens up, but we're gonna click dismiss. And we're gonna click continue. And we're gonna click on build menu. Alright guys, as we see it opens up the build menu so we're looking at Kodi 18, which is in the Lia build, and we have two versions here. So we got the Ultima Light build, and we got the Dragon Fire build, version 1.1. So we're going to click on the Dragon Fire build. Guys, if you're not using a fresh installed Kodi, then you're going to click on Fresh Installed, which is going to erase your Kodi and reinstall this build. So I've got a fresh installed. So I'm going to click on standard installed, click on that and you're going to click yes install. So as you see guys, it's starting to install. I'm going to pause the video here while it installs and get back to you as soon as installation is done. Welcome back guys. So once you're build is actually installed you will get a pop-up like this which is actually telling you to force close Kodi and you're gonna click force close then you're gonna reopen up Kodi and you're gonna wait for your Kodi app to actually open up guys remember as I said in the beginning this is Kodi 18 Lear and remember it's still in development mode although it's the second release there is one more final release to come out as we see the build is actually loaded we're just waiting for everything to load up as it's the first start of Kodi so just give it a few seconds or so to actually load up as you see it's building the skin shortcuts and writing two menus. As we see guys, it has all the add-ons in there. Works quite well. I'm just gonna leave you with this now and guys i hope you enjoyed this new build thanks for watching